confidence. A little something we all need in life. Instead of wasting your time with a long intro, I'm gonna go my dude. That's all you need to know. Let's jump into it, shall we? Figure out your body. What do you like to show off? Now, what do you like to hide? What are you insecure about? Can you make it work? No? Okay, then figure out how to hide it. Now, I know that can sound a little controversial, but I'm not saying to just hide your insecurities and that's it. Yes, you still need to address them, but the fact of the matter is, when it comes to photos, when it comes to photography, sometimes hiding the things that we don't love can lead to us in feeling more confident when we end up liking the final product. When I first started shooting self-portraits, I wasn't comfortable with the camera at all and I always hated how my face looked. So you know what I did? I hid it, okay? Not in a, oh my god, I'm so ugly, I'm unworthy, I have no value. Just, I don't like my face, so here's a solution. Stand further away from the camera, don't look directly at the camera. I would look down, to the side, whatever. And I that's how I first started getting photos that I liked of myself. And with time, I slowly got more comfortable with this bad boy right here. Okay. And now I can look it right in los ojos. Pose in front of a mirror. I have said this before on TikTok. Posing in front of a mirror for practice. Now it doesn't help in terms of now because you pose in front of a mirror, you'll always know what to do right in front of the camera. No. The fact of the matter is, I need to see myself like the second before I press the shutter button. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my last two videos on how to pose. And I'll, I, I, I dry dress it there. But what I'm saying is, posing in front of a mirror with, you know, practicing can help you get familiar with what it feels like to pose your body. Maybe that sounds a little dramatic, but it's true. <laughs> okay? Posing in front of a mirror just it helped me become aware of what it feels like to move certain parts of your body in ways that and you realize, oh wait, if I move my shoulder forward a little bit or backward a little bit, it makes me look more model-esque. And I wouldn't have known that if I'd never looked in front of a mirror. So then when I do come in front of a camera, I remember that feeling of what it felt like for my body to be like this and even though it feels weird, it actually looks kind of pretty, so I snapped the photo, you know? Okay, find the best angles for you. If you got a good side, you got a bad side, learn to work on both. They're both yours. For me, I have a bad side, yes. My left side. My left side, my whole left side is just no. So, uh, if I'm, if my bad side is the close, bad side, if it's the closest to the camera or it's the side facing the camera, like, that's why I'm tilting my head like this, right? Um, I'm probably gonna be looking down, up, to the side, because that's just what I figured, that's through trial and error, that's what I've noticed, I like better for my bad side. Figure out those faces. I like to play with extremes and then find something in the middle. Also, one thing that I figured out about my face is, <laughs> excuse me, let me just <laughs> adjust real quick. Okay. <laughs> I like to look down but I don't like looking down all the way. Well, recently I have, but this is something that I, in the beginning of self portraits I realized I didn't like how I looked when I would look all the way down, like close my eyes basically, for whatever reason. I liked having them still open, but you can't tell that they're open, but when you close them, you can tell, oh wait, in this shot they're closed, in that shot they must not have been, even though they looked closed, okay? And then I also realized that I don't like looking upward, like all the way up, unless I'm laughing, I guess, but, you know, these are the little things that you realize, you know, take note of for yourself. I also can't, I can't squint too much because, you know, some just a slight squint, it can add a little sexy, sexy, you know, but too much and it looks like, what do you have to say for doing? Like, I'm trying to be too sexy. And also, I've noticed a side smile. The side smile, let me, matter of fact, I'm tethering to my phone, so let me just check that right there. <laughs> I hate how I look with a side smile, so I never did. And I used to always do it. I used to always like I would feel like I'm smiling, but really only half of it is smiling. And then I see the photo and it's like, oh my god. I don't think I do that anymore. Thank God. Thank God. Now for more technical tips. How to play with movement. Put a story behind it. And it can make your movement feel much more natural. Your posing feel much more natural. So you can think forward or back. If I lean forward and look forward or to the side upward then 
I guess it would make sense to have a story feel like um, good things are coming. Good things are coming. Or if I lean back, relax, chill, open your legs a little bit, not sexually, just, you know, chill. Then you can make your eyes dark, more sultry. It also helps you tell a story. It helps you feel more natural when you feel like you're telling a story. Or what about chin up, chin down, chin up, chin down. Shoulders, shoulders play a big role too. Okay. <laughs> Rolling them forward or backward, they could both can make you look more modelesque because the weirder the pose, the more modelesque in a way sometimes. But then also back, it, if you try moving your shoulders, no, this is too wordy. You can roll them forward, maybe you're more meek, you're sad, you can roll them back. I'm a, I'm a Stalin, you know? I don't know, I don't know. The point is, use your imagination and it can help you think of ways to move your body. Like, how would somebody that acts like this or feels like this look? Do that. Now for some extra tips. Bold makeup can- oh shit! Did I break a nail? Oh shit! Oh, that hurt. Oh, pray for me, I really hope I didn't break a nail. Ah! Alright, where was I? Yes, bold makeup. It can really help it's definitely not a must, but for me, bold lip, liner, and a bold lip combo, you know. It does something for your confidence. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. Shit. It might not work for you, but it's something that works for me. That's all. Perfecting the barely open lip look. That is also a very confident look. It's I, For me, it's, it's hard. Not easy to perfect. Only easy when I feel super good, when I feel like and my makeup is fresh. Right now, I don't think I could do it. Let me try. Let me try. I'm looking at myself, okay? You can, I can see myself. <laughs> okay. Am I doing it? No. See, my laugh lines, they're holding me back. I can't do it right now, but I have done it. If I have a photo that I can find, I'll, I'll insert it. Okay, all right, don't judge me. I never said I was a model. All right, okay. On the contrary, sometimes making a less modelesque face is what can help you feel more confident. So if you think of channeling the emotion of annoyance or anger or ew, grossed out, yuck, or disappointed or insulted. I also, another video that could help is a TikTok that I did. It was called uh, how to look like a cool kid or something. Those poses, honestly, I feel like, I feel like my tips was A1 in that video, okay? So go ahead, go, go catch that while you still can, right? Or maybe I'll put it in this video, I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. But the idea is, matter of fact, watch, watch the video, okay, watch the video. How to pose like a cool kid. Gang, gang, you will need to get into a position that's out of the ordinary. The more awkward, the better. Show little to no expression in your face. This shows your viewers that whether or not they think you look weird, <laughs> you don't really give a Forget, I mean, don't forget to throw up your thumb and index fingers. Why? No idea. It's just what the cool kids do. <laughs> no smile for the camera. Wait, no. Don't smile. And here's what not to do. Not making the expressionless face, thus making the awkward pose more awkward. You see? She looks cool. And now, so can you. <laughs> Follow for more photo tips. All right. Those are my tips on how to look and feel more confident in your photos. Okay. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, come back next week for some more post tips, photo tips, photography tips, a vlog. No, nobody will watch my vlogs, but it's fine. I don't do it for the views. <laughs> <laughs> no for real though. No. Okay. Um I'll see you next week. I have anything else to say? Catch me on IG. We're gonna done do Catch me on TikTok. Why you still can? We're gonna done do And um my name is a holler. Holler.